RFK Jr. went on system update with Glenn Greenwald recently uh, when he was asked about the Roger Waters affair. So um, I'm sure most of you guys, if not all of you guys, are up to date on all of this stuff. But uh, just in case you aren't, Glenn sort of uh, gives a little backstory before we get into this just absolute catastrophe of a response. So here we go. Uh, a recent controversy in which you found yourself more as a window to understand some of your broader views, which was the praise you originally offered for Roger Waters um, with regard to his stance on both Ukraine, which he is opposed to in terms of the U.S. proxy war, as well as COVID. He was questioning a lot of the same orthodoxies you were. And then you ended up deleting that tweet where you praised him and made clear that the reason was because he had held views on Israel and Palestine that you didn't share. I want to ask you about the specific kind of divergencies that you have with him on that question. But before I get into that, why was it necessary for you to delete your praise for Roger Waters just because you disagree with him on Israel? Can't you praise him on Ukraine and COVID and then at the same time say, but there are other issues, including Israel, where I have differences? Why did you delete the praise entirely? Okay, now the thing that's so bizarre, before we get to his answer, the thing that's even bizarre about the question is that Roger Waters came under fire for dressing up as a fascist. The accusation from the jump was that he was anti-Semitic. So if RFK was going to jump in and defend him, isn't it to be assumed that he's defending him against charges of anti-Semitism? And given Roger Waters' very long and well-documented history of advocacy for the people of Gaza and the West Bank, he visited the West Bank in 2009. That's a video that we showed on our last show. Um... How was it that you were unaware of his position on Israel when you defended him against charges of anti-Semitism? What do you just you happen to like him for other reasons? So you came in half cocked and tried to defend him on an issue that you weren't even clear what the debate was about. Right. I mean, do, do you follow the, what I'm saying? The, this the, is a very more, bizarre timeline. The, the more we see of RFK, the more I feel like RFK plays as anti-establishment because he's establishment 2.0 and we're up to establishment 5.0 so right. when you when, when you put knock up against things that go all the way back to establishment 2.0 era he's right there he's a kennedy he's a kennedy this the these kinds of views about israel and the palestinians of gaza these are views out of uh the 60s out of the 70s you know he really hasn't modified it or developed and also um i i don't know what he's thinking in terms of his chances or his hopes but uh clearly he probably doesn't want to alienate some supporters and financiers but i think a lot of people saw him as some kind of revival of uh camelot remember camelot was establishment that was the establishment of his of its time he, he represents an older, almost extinct establishment. He is not this anti-establishment outsider looking to burn down the system. He's looking to restore it to an earlier version. Indeed. And here's his answer to this question. Well, first of all, the reasons that I praised him uh, was because of his position on the war, the, his position on COVID, which I thought was very courageous. Right. The reasons I praised him had nothing to do with why he was being attacked. Right. Do you understand how just kind of dumb this whole thing is? OK, I came in to defend him against charges of anti-Semitism, yet I actually agree with the people who are accusing him of, of anti-Semitism based on his position on the issue in question. Not very well thought out. Let's uh, let him keep going. At a time when nobody, and also his position on Julian Assange. Right. Uh, I I disagree. Um, I would say fiercely. It's like saying I defended OJ because I, th I think he's a good football player. Right. Oh yeah, he probably I, did kill his I, wife. I was but, you I know. was only talking about his touchdown against Denver. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It's like defending OJ because you know he, he could run the ball, right? I mean, I, I it's just I, it's I really crazy. enjoyed his performance in the Naked Gun films. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. With his criticism of Israel, and I'm not, you know, there are there are enough people who characterize those um, political differences as anti-Semitic. 
that me endorsing him uh, felt like I was buying into that, um, you know, into into something that was that you know was abhorrent to me. I really disagree with his. I think Roger, like many critics of it, first of all. People who criticize he said, he said like policy. five different things. It's, it's, it's a total. It's <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's it's a, a total com, fucking complete train wreck. mess. <laughs> complete train wreck. Yeah, indeed. Not there were people who thought it was anti-Semitic. <laughs> Not necessarily me. In case you are a Pink Floyd fan, this <laughs> right, exactly. is anti-Semitic. But people who apply a different standard to judging Israel than they would to judging an Arab country. Um, I think then that you've crossed a line there. And I, what the, I first of all, he crossed no such line. He made no such statement. Look, the, the, the moral calculus here is very simple. Israel is an apartheid state. They are an occupying force in lands that they were not supposed to expand to. They subjugate these people in these lands. They target them. In many cases, as we've covered in a few recent episodes, we just gun them down, blow them up. It, it, very, very simple. Very, very simple. He's, he's acting as though Roger Waters is committing some act of like moral hypocrisy by condemning Israel, yet giving Saudi Arabia a pass for the crimes against their people. It's it, absolutely wait, wait, nonsense. Which, which his whole tour, that whole section, lists people from all around the world, all different countries who have right. been the victims of state violence. Right. He doesn't give Saudi Arabia a pass. He doesn't give any country a pass. He doesn't give any region a pass. Look, I didn't have any interest in bringing him on the show, but now I want to bring him on to just really throw him with the question, which album would you rather drop acid to, Dark Side of the Moon or Metal? <laughs> See how he reacts. All right, we'll let him keep going a little bit. We're not going to watch this whole thing. Do you think that Roger does that? You know, I've now looked at some of his stuff, and I think, you know, I like I said, I do not think people who criticize that that people who criticize Israel policies should not be called anti-Semitic. But I do, I do think that many people are applying, where Israel's critics are applying a double standard. Okay, that's running as a Democrat for you, right? That's not being able to form. What is what is a very, very simple, cohesive thought based on a very, very simple moral calculus, right? I mean, but because you can't do that because when you run as a Democrat, you cannot cross APAC. You right. simply cannot do right. it, right? Which, but it's I don't know limits. what he's selling out for. Like, what does he think? He has a shot? Like, what do you care if you piss these people off? Well, Mary you're never, has no you're shot not, either. A, not, not only are you not going to win... They'll never give you an appointment. Like you're never you're never getting a job in the administration. So no. what what are you bothering for? It's the same thing as Marianne. You know, uh, like you know, you could <laughs> you could take the Kennedys out of the Democrats. You can't take the Democrat out of a Kennedy. You know what I mean? Like it, he's just he's never going to turn his back on that club, no matter what. And this is just a perfect example. I mean, that was just a disastrous answer it was so clear i mean what came through in that answer was a sort of conscious um selling out of his own principles you could tell well yeah no it's not that everybody who criticizes israel is anti-semitic but in his case i think it is because he gives arab countries a pass well i've never heard roger waters give an arab country a pass. when has roger waters praised the saudi government or excused the saudi government for the crimes right. against the people of he's Yemen? Try, or, he's trying to I find mean, it's an just, excuse it's, it's absolute nonsense just absolute nonsense. Um, if you were going to pussy out like this, the best thing you could have done was just not say anything at all. Please clap.